In the summer Milky Way, you can see Aquila, the eagle, winging its way northward along the river of the galaxy. Off the western wing, shining brightly in light your eye cannot see, is the Hulse Taylor binary pulsar. 21,000 light years from Earth, the system is comprised of two neutron stars, the tiny skeletons of dead stars orbiting one another. Spinning almost 20 times per second, one of the stars is a pulsar, directing a powerful beam of radio light toward the Earth, a built-in clock that allows us to watch the system evolve over time. General relativity predicts that when two compact stars orbit very close to one another, they will emit gravitational radiation, carrying away energy and driving the stars together. For 40 years, astronomers have watched this system and noticed its orbit shrinking by about 3.5 meters every year, at exactly the rate predicted by general relativity. Can we see these waves directly? The first person to seriously contemplate this was Joseph Weber at the University of Maryland in the 1960s. He used a 1.5 ton cylinder of aluminum suspended on a wire around its midpoint. If a gravitational wave passed through the bar, it would stretch it. The forces between the aluminum atoms would pull it back to its original shape and it would faintly ring as if you tapped it with a tiny hammer. We now know that gravitational waves are too faint to be detected by a Weber bar, so in the early 2000s, astronomers started looking with a laser interferometer called LIGO. Four kilometers end-to-end, -end, one of the main sources LIGO should see is two neutron stars circling each other hundreds of times per second before merging. When the gravitational waves from this cataclysmic event wash across LIGO, they will stretch and compress the arms, an effect that can be detected with the circulating laser light. Sometime after 2025, astronomers plan to fly a laser interferometer in space called LISA, with laser light flying 5 million kilometers between spacecraft. LISA will be sensitive to many things, including ultra-compact binary stars orbiting each other on orbits that would fit between the Earth and the Moon. These star systems include all kinds of stellar skeletons, including white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. LISA will see these systems hundreds or thousands of years before they merge, when LIGO will be sensitive to them. In this way, LIGO and LISA give us complementary views of the cosmos. But one of the most interesting things Lisa will see has to do with other galaxies. Galaxies fill the universe, but sometimes we see them merge. And when they do, they form a new galaxy, with the original black holes sinking down to the core, where they form a binary and merge by emitting gravitational waves. Those waves will be detectable by Lisa, telling us the story of how galaxies merge and black holes grow over cosmic time.